Good morning, boys and girls, ladies and germs. All right, today we are going to start on our reading lesson for this week. Now, I just finished Dragon in the Driveway for myself. You guys are going to listen to the last two parts that we have on Wednesday and Thursday, so tomorrow and Thursday as we finish up our book. But we are going to talk this week about something that is very important to do. You can do this while you read a book, but it's extra important to do once you finish a book because it will help you choose your next book as you move forward. And so our skill for this week is to evaluate, evaluate. And what it means to evaluate is to consider things, to take all the things you know, all the evidence you have, and in this case about a book, and think, does was this book good? Was this book not good? And why or why not? So... What I'm going to have you do this week, your assignment is going to be to think about a book that was just a really, really good fit for you. And it could be Dragon in the Driveway as we finish up. It could be something completely different. You can do it on any book you've ever, ever read. But I want you to think about three things that made that book a really, really good fit for you. Now, I'll give you some examples for me or what could be things that might have make a, a book a really good fit as you evaluate it once you're done reading. Now, right away, I don't get an AR level like you guys do, but this book is a 4.8. So for some of you, that would be a really, really good fit book. For some of you, that might not be a good fit book. So if it fits right into your AR level, you might evaluate that that's why it was good for you. Because it was easy to read, it wasn't boring because it was too easy, but it wasn't so challenging that you got confused. You could read it, everything made sense, and you liked the story. Other things that might make you like a story like Dragon in the Sock Drawer. If you like fantasy, you know, dragons, and there was the queen and some magic things going on and all that if you really like magical stuff once you're done with dragon in the driveway whether you want to read book three or not you might decide that is a a topic or a genre that you really really like you want to find more books that have dragons or some magic or fairies or things like that so that could help you pick your next book other things could be for me, this might be different for you, but my eyes struggle sometimes. I can read books with a lot of pages, no problem. But sometimes you can see here on our book, the words aren't too small for Dragon in the Driveway. Some books have really, really, really tiny words, and sometimes I can struggle with that. So that would make a book maybe not a good fit for me. Um, other things that might make a book a good fit as you evaluate... Does it have a happy ending? Will our story, I, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, will our story have a happy ending? Maybe you like happy endings. Maybe there's a, you like stories that don't quite finish and you've got to read the next one to know what goes on. Maybe you don't mind a sad ending or something not working out the way you think it might be, a surprise ending. So I know one of my favorite books that I read is incredibly sad, but it's still one of my favorite books because the whole story is just so, so good that I don't mind the, that the ending had to be sad, even though normally I wouldn't like that. So sometimes things don't always follow. Also too, right now, if I were to pick up a book about Christmas, I probably wouldn't be into it because it's 70 degrees outside, the sun is shining. I'm not thinking about winter and Christmas right now, but if I picked up that same book, in December, I might love it or be all into it. So that might help you decide and as you evaluate. Do I like this book? Do I not? Will it? What should my next book be like? All of those types of things. So what I want you to do this week is think of, you're going to actually have to do two books. But the first book is going to be, and you're going to need three things. Tell me the book. And give me three reasons why it was a good fit for you. Any of those things. 
And how could you tell that it was a good book? Did you really like the story? Did you pass the AR test? Was it in your level? Could you just not put it down? It was a chapter book, but it, it didn't matter. You finished it in a day. All of those things. I've seen that with you guys in school. Sometimes you guys, we I say it's time for reading. And you guys jump up and you grab the book and you don't want to stop. Some days you're kind of just like, eh, okay. That can tell you whether that book is a good fit for you and what you maybe want to look for once you're done. And then on the flip side, you're going to tell me another book that you've either finished or maybe because this is a little negative, didn't finish. And you evaluated that it wasn't a good book for you. You didn't like it. Either because you didn't like the topic, you didn't like what was going on in it, it was way too hard, you didn't understand, you broke the five word rule on a page or it just didn't interest you so you need to think of two books one it was a really good fit and give me three reasons why it was a really good fit for you and another book that yeah that book just didn't work out and give me three reasons why that book wasn't a good fit and so this can be done just like last week you can choose i'll open up a flip grid and you can choose to talk about both books and all six things but you might want to make some notes so that you can remember all six things three for the book that you evaluate and said this was really good for me and three for the not so good or you can do a writing and send it to me handwritten with a picture google docs or email so however you want to do it but i want those six things three on a book that you really, really like, and that might help you choose your next book. So if it was a book about a baseball team, that might help you choose other books about baseball. If it was a scary book, it might help you choose more scary books. If it was a book on baking, it might take you to other cooking books. Or the opposite. I didn't really like this because it was about the western and I don't really like western things or it was too hard for me or it didn't really make sense I read a whole bunch of pages and I didn't know what was going on that how happens to me a lot and that's when I think about it might be time to try a different book make sure you ask questions as you go along I'd be glad to help you on your path as you do this because you might have to think back a ways to some books that you've read in the past that fit into these categories as you evaluate so make sure you get a hold of me i'm going to give you today you can work on this wednesday and thursday so you've got three days to do it so you don't have to rush and get it done so if you want to think take some notes do a flip grid or think and write a couple things a day so it's not so much work all at once you can do that but make sure you ask for help if you need it i'm excited to see what you think and hopefully Thinking about this might lead you to some books. Maybe you want to choose it as you decide to read over the summer. That's my hope. All right. Good luck.